अक्सफोर्ड इंटरनेशनल एजुकेशन ग्रुप ने अगस्त पंद्रह तारीख का दिन यूनिवर्सल हायर एजुकेशन का लगी ने लंचिंग इवेन्ट संपन्न कर All the official bank, a great bank, we are going to accept. There is no recession. I know there is a big debate in the market that okay, this bank is not good, but we will buy what if that bank has got the got an identity as a credible bank, then a credible commercial bank. Then what's the point? And again, by the time if we form some suspicious in any any of these banks, then we will inform you. Bank transaction is needed. I know in some of the cases it's not possible looking at the market trend in that condition. Our staff, our team member, even myself, we may email or contact the employer to verify even for the sponsor, even for the spread. Bank account verification, simple verification, everything will be verified by our team. And this is the correct. Way. We are just arranging for the Australia. I know there was a pain for you and me. Many of us have you know gone through a big pain. But I am making sure, you know, sure that this is our own college, so we control over everything, especially admission and process. So there won't be any issues. And again, I know some of you may have met the person who is looking after Australia moving forward. I am going to invite you for in these days in a while after you know after finishing the slide. Looking at the highs and PP, three hundred grand six, no matter the five point five for masters, six point five six. And PD for undergrad is fifty plus forty to forty nine. I think we'll come to you if we think that we need to change. From masters fifty eight, no matter less than fifty to fifty seven, fifty eight, no matter less than fifty to fifty seven. I think which is fair, fine. So. If you don't know how to place the application, then it's the same way. If you go to oxygenasc.com/apply, if you click that, then you will see the tab. And I, I think it's in front of you, the dark blue color, color. Then just click it. You can see the universal higher education form. Then you can place it. Or you can go to uhc.edu.au. Again, it's the same. After filling the uhc.edu.au form, it will come to our inbox straight away. So it's about you know. You have rights to place application from both the. We are at fourteen hours. Within fourteen hours, our students may receive an email with the offer letter or an acknowledgement email. If not, then please contact us. Tuition fee twenty to twenty-five k. Scholarship one to four k. And I think Andy already mentioned that. One k as a one one thousand Australian dollar each year as a default scholarship. Again, there will be a provision, and that provision will sit under the RF, not even with me. If that is when he's ready to make a payment, is working with everything, then RF has rights to approve at some three thousand. So that's the provision. How we are doing in the UK, we are going to you know, apply the same for Australia, and maybe in futures after transitioning this phase. From February, in the game, we can introduce maybe some other ideas, like on the basis of the GPA criteria, we can announce this scholarship. So that's in the plan. But now we are going to do one to four k Australian dollar, one one to four thousand Australian dollar at this time. कार्यक्रम यूनिवर्सल हायर एजुकेशन का बारे में नेपाली सहचिक परामर्श वेबसाइट तथा आपना एजेंट हरु लाई जानकारी गराउने हेतु ले आयोजना गरी को ऑक्सफोर्ड ले जानकारी गराए को सा कार्यक्रम में उपस्थित शैक्षिक परामर्श व्यवसाय तथा एजेंट ऑक्सफोर्ड एजुकेशन ग्रुप का चीफ कमर्शियल अफिशर एंडी क्लाडवेल ने संस्था का शैक्षिक कार्यक्रम संस्था उपलब्ध कराने विभिन्न सेवा सुविधा लगायत को बारे में विस्तृत जानकारी प्रदान कर I want to take a moment to thank all of you because actually we have come on a tremendous growth journey here in the port as an organisation. When I look back at our performance and our presence in the port just three to four years ago, 
we had nothing like the presence that we have now today. And that is part, of course, due to our fantastic team led by Rajiv. But it is also because of all the tremendous support all of you in this room continue to show us. And I want to take a bit of a step back for a moment to just give you a little bit of the history of Oxford International. Some of you may know a bit of our history, but this September marks a pretty significant milestone in our journey as a business. Because it was 10 years ago this September that we first entered international higher education. Not because our business first began 10 years ago, but our organisation began 32 years ago. It was founded by two individuals who started an English language school in the UK, who had a bright idea of how to teach and deliver English differently. And that was the first 22 years of our business. It is still a big English language, it's still a big part of our business, but it is now higher and vocational education. That is the core of Oxford International. And our journey in higher education began 10 years ago, this September, from incredible, humble beginnings, with just 150 students at De Montfort University International College. Well, that's a far cry from where we are today. Where we are today is across all of our UK partnerships, the USA, Canada, and more recently in Australia, this year we have enrolled a huge 22,000 students across the Oxford International portfolio. And in the pool, more specifically, when I look back at the number of students joining the Oxford International in the pool, it is nothing like the level of enrolments that we have today. This year, we have received over 1,200 enrollments into Oxford International, um, into our Oxford International Pathway Centres and Direct Entry. Can I just take a moment to give all of you a round of applause and a round of applause for you. <laughs> Nepal is being seen by international universities all over the world and an article was released in uh, the Times Higher Education just a couple of days ago, recognising the standout growth that is happening from the poor to UK universities. A significant proportion of that is down to the work all of you do, have been doing and continue to do in supporting Oxford International. And for me here today, I want to continue expressing my most sincere gratitude for the support that you show Raju, his team, and also our whole business at Oxford International. So thank you so much. <laughs> of course, many of you, and I hope the vast majority of you are very familiar with our partners, but of course I mentioned De Montfort University, and I won't list every single partnership, but I will reflect on one of them. Whatever partnership you are all, or at least the numbers I've received from the poor, are supporting really significant growth. It is just this January we launched two new pathway partnerships in the UK. We launched a partnership with the University of Kent and Edinburgh and Napier University of Scotland. It is our partnership with Edinburgh Napier University that for this September is seeing absolutely phenomenal levels of growth. And that includes coming from the poor. We launched Edinburgh Napier University only, in, if my memory serves me correctly, September, October last year. For a very first intake in January. And this year that intakes in January, April and June. And we've had roughly 250 to 300 students join us at Edinburgh. Melbourne, Australia, ma abastit Universal Higher Education le antarastye pravidhi ra engineering bebasthapan ma gunastari saichi karakram haru pradhan garnu ka saathai Universal Learning ko abdhana ka saath adhyan adhyapan garaun dhe aire ko saath.